So let's talk a little bit about what your role is here at Gulf Breeze, because you know obviously I'm making this for the all new staff, and all of you will have a different role. But there's some common denominators to your role as a professional here at Gulf Breeze. Uh, bottom line, though, you're here to serve the needs of the guests, whatever your role is. If you're the the new cook, you're a support staff member, you're in housekeeping, you're 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 always tuned in out there to what, what is it that you can do to make this a better experience for that staff. And sometimes that means making it a better experience for your coworker. You know, everybody has their ups and downs, and one of the things that I've seen in my retreats working with the staff is they, one of the things they appreciate more than anything is when someone is going through a difficult time in their life, you know, one person was talking about going through cancer and how she was given the time off and everybody pitched in and covered for her. and and on and on many people told the story that they really feel like this is more like family than it is a place to, to just work. Um, the most important way that this gets conveyed to the guests, this philosophy, this understanding, is through your role modeling, through your own health, through your own, and that doesn't mean that you're always happy or that you're always in a good mood. Sometimes it, you're, you're in a crabby mood. You come to work and something's going on or you're caught up. Um, it doesn't mean being perfect. It just means that you're being authentic. And when you recognize later that you were caught up in your thinking, sometimes admitting that to a guest, apologizing, or using it as a teachable moment to say, you know, we all have low moods, we all get caught up in our thinking, we're all human. But lucky for us, we know where it's coming from and so we don't have to blame other people. The understanding that you gain about how the mind works is something that you very naturally pass on to them. One of the ways we pass it on is by listening deeply. When we listen to people, rather than giving advice, trying to fix them, uh, getting uncomfortable because they're in a low space or, you know, I'm not sure if it's my role, you, it, when in doubt, listen. When in doubt, listen. You can't hurt anyone by listening. And sometimes just, just listening to someone is enough for them to have enough space where they can hear their own thinking and get insight. So even if you're a support staff, you're in housekeeping, or you're a cook, a client, you never know when someone is going to have a, a teachable moment where they need someone to listen to them. Sometimes that is the most powerful medicine that there is here, is just being there with someone when they're in pain, when they're hurting, and, and providing a, a a caring ear.